Kaylee Fundick with head coach Terry Rini with a special edition of In the Dugout here at UCF Media Day. You had a huge turnout at Media Day. You have had your first homer. Just tell me a little bit about it. Oh, it was awesome. What a turnout. I think uh, one of the largest turnouts, if not the largest, we've had of media members. And I think it shows certainly what the expectations of our baseball program are this year for so many people to come out. And deservedly so. The kids deserve it. I mean, we're preseason ranked in the top 25 in the country. And to see all the different TV cameras out here and the radio stations and virtually every newspaper uh, in the immediate Orlando area out here is awesome. It's great for the kids. We're excited for it. Can you tell me a little bit about, you picked your three starters for the first three games. You have Brian Atkins, Ben Lively, and Chris Matulis. How did that come about? And tell me about their different assets. Yeah, there's no question. We've been very fortunate. We're going left, right, left. Two lefties and a righty. So that, that's an interesting dynamic. And, you know, Brian Atkins certainly deserved a right to, to pitch Friday night, opening night for us, and had a great year for us last year. And we're expecting continued great things from him. Ben Lively has continued to improve. You know, Ben Lively is the prototypical typical pitcher. He's got a great body, a great arm, and his command has continued to come. Chris Matulis was here last year. Red shirt, who transferred from LSU, I actually recruited him to LSU, uh, and then I left to take this job, But uh, so I know Chris very well, but uh, Chris has really worked hard coming off of Tommy John surgery. Each time out, Chris has gotten better is what you'd expect somebody coming off surgery, so I feel very good about those guys. Tell me how this week's wrapped up going from good to great. Well, it's good. You know, it's good, and we need to get great you know, without any question. You know, we're, we're looking for. We got three great days of practice today and Wednesday and Thursday, obviously, and we need to get better. You know, we're not there yet. The biggest thing that I want out of this weekend is to play fundamentally sound. That's what. That's the biggest thing we need to do. You know, it's a progression. We are. The hopes are we're going to be better in March than we are in February. We're going to be better in June than we are in April, and etc. Going down the road. But you know, this weekend, I know everybody's going to be ready to play. I'm not worried about that. But we just need to make sure we kind of gear down a little bit and play fundamentally sound. We'll come on out Friday for the season opener against Long Island at 6.30, and it's free admission for everyone. Kaylee Budnick here with former UCF quarterback Kyle Israel. Kyle, you just hit the first media day home run of history. Do you have a little baseball background? I have a little bit. I played in high school and, and was recruited by uh, some smaller colleges. Uh, obviously, I decided to come here and play football, but uh, I did play baseball back in the day. just took a little bit to, uh, to get going here. <laughs> you were swinging that thing, let me tell you. Good hit. Good Thank hit. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. What are you doing now? I am. Um, I'm here with Alumni Live today. We're a uh, uh, radio show here in Central Florida that's every Wednesday night from 6 to 8 uh, during baseball season and every uh, Saturday from 11 to 1 during football season. And we just cover UCF sports and, and uh, generally cover um, sports in general in Orlando. Um, and, and then also I own a restaurant and nightclub downtown called Terrace 390 um, in downtown Orlando where we host a lot of UCF events as well. well awesome. Kyle Israel, former UCF quarterback, and just hit a homer here at Media Day. Last night, and, uh, you know, you know that I was going to get the ball that night. It's definitely a great honor. Um, all of our guys have been working really hard, and uh, I think we had a chance to have a really good staff this year. This team success this season is starting to take a It's huge. Um, Coach always talks about being able to eat up innings and throw up hoops and get us into the late innings so we can hand the ball off to uh, some of the bangers in the bullpen. So um, that's our goal is to eat up innings, throw up as many zeros as we can. Like I said, give the ball to, to Joe and Rome to close it out. On campus, they come out to the game this week? Hey, I'm telling everybody, I'm just all on Twitter, Facebook, everyone I see. You know, I'm trying to get as much people here as possible. Hope we can not just Friday. I will see people here every single game we have at home. Definitely, I'm just really excited for the opportunity. It's been a long road. It's been a strange trip, and uh, you know, just been fortunate to have a good family support and support my coach and you know, good training staff and everything to get me healthy and just ready to go by uh, this season. So I'm excited. Um, you know, kind of hasn't uh, developed it exactly. You know. You know, it's been a while, so right now I'd say, you know, mix and match kind of pitcher, fastball, fastball, and you know, just kind of do what I need to do, find a way to win, just hold the ball down. Kaylee Bundick here with starting second baseman Travis Shree. Travis, tell me a little bit. I talked to Coach Rooney earlier, and he told me your motto, good to great. That's your team's motto this year. You had a really successful year last year. How's that going, good to great? Uh, the good to great is going good. Um, you know, last year we had, a, we had a pretty successful year. This team hasn't been to a uh, NCAA regional in a while. And, uh, you know, I, I'd say last year we, we underachieved for what we could have, were capable of doing. But, you know, it was pretty good. But, you know, like the motto, we're trying to go good to great. So Can you it. give me some of your own personal goals that you yourself would like to accomplish this year? Um, personal goals. 
I would have to say, you know, do whatever I can to help the team win. It sounds kind of cliche, but I mean, things I do don't really show up on the stat board a lot. So I just want to help out a uh, big power hitter, DJ Hicks, get on for him, you know, have him score me. He's all American, so. Can you tell me some of your team expectations and some teams you're looking forward to playing? Uh, team expectations this year, um, you know, Coach, really, we've really talked a lot about not taking any days or games off this year. We had a couple uh, midweek slip-ups last year, but this year, you know, we're definitely every night ready to play, no matter who we play, you know. And, and like you said, some of the big games, you know, of course, Florida, Florida State, but you know, the Bethune-Cookman, FAU games, those are all as important. So. To me, some, you know, last season, you guys went to the NCAA National Championship for the first time, NCAA tournament, I'm sorry. Yeah. How much further do you want to get this season? We want to go all the way. I mean, our goal is Omaha, and obviously, to win it. Um, but, you know, we got to take it one step at a time. We got to look at the first opponent. We got Long Island on Friday, so we're looking forward to playing there. Well, come on out, Long Island on Friday. Like you said, free at 6.30. Come out and watch Travis Sheree starting second base. Then. Kaylee Budnick reporting with the current starter, DJ Hicks. DJ, you're making the transition into first baseman full-time. Can you tell me about that? Uh, it feels great. It feels, uh, feels like back in high school and in the younger days, playing first. And, uh, it's an honor to be playing first place. Awesome. We look forward to seeing you there. Your motto, good to great, from successful last year to even better this year. How's that going? Tell me your expectations for the team. Well, it's going good so far. You know, we're excited for Friday. And, uh, all good to great, I think, it's just to do a little more than we have in the past. And I think that's why the team is doing. Um, um, you know, coming out to play tonight, hitting, I see a bunch of young guys, a bunch of returners hitting. You had some huge preseason awards, including All American Third Team. No night has ever received that huge deal in all conference preseason of the year. Tell me about those and how you're living up to those expectations and continuing your success. Yeah, I mean, those, those awards are great. Um, I mean, they're preseason. You know, you can't, as soon as you get caught up in that stuff, when your numbers go down. Um, and then you start to struggle. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. You know, I'm very thankful and blessed, but you know, you got to you got to prove yourself again. Do you have any personal goals for this year? Yeah, I got a lot of personal goals. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to set you know a limit on anything, but you know, sometimes you got to do a little something maybe a little different. Uh, that kind of needs to maybe the original thought. So you know, we'll see. Like that. How do you feel about hosting regionals here at UCF? I hope we can do it this year. I hope we can do it and we can pack the team stadium and get the fans going crazy. Yeah, big deal. I'm with returning starter DJ Hicks.